Hello, my dear friends, taking another break from the TCM Classic Film Festival Marathon to talk about a quietly powerful film in honor of Pride Month again. We have a haunting, semi-autobiographical remake, All of Us Strangers, released by Searchlight Pictures, starring the great and underrated Andrew Scott as Adam, a lonely screenwriter who lives a secluded life in London, and one fateful morning, he has an encounter with his neighbor, Harry, played by Paul Meskel. You can see Harry hitting on Adam and almost yearning for Adam to take him into his arms, even though it's quite a uh, drunken and creepily constructed scene, I must say. Adam politely refuses, but you can see it almost attacking his mind. Later, he visits his family home, which is now vacant due to his parents getting into a car accident when he was 12 years old, but his parents all of a sudden come out of their home and welcome their dear son, being the age of which he lost them. Is this a vision? It has to be. All the while at the same time, Adam's heart opens up more and more to Harry, the more times he spends with him. But he's still battling the grief that still hangs deep in his soul. He continues to go back to his parents' home and spends time with them. More loving memories are rekindled within the visions, but also hard ones. And it's the dichotomy of dealing with grief and at the same time yearning for what was robbed from you as a child and learning to accept love. Writer-director Andrew Haig said that this was without a doubt his most personal film yet. And quite frankly, it really doesn't get much more personal than this film. My reaction after watching this film was totally soothing and left me almost comfortably numb because it's so haunting. It's so passionate and tender and everyone making this film gave all of their brilliance to it. That being said, my reservations are not major at all and in fact, very minute. The pacing of the film for sure slows as we continue on this odyssey of Adam, which is certainly made up with a brilliant, soulful leading performance by Andrew Scott. The sign of a brilliant actor are his choices and also his availability for his scene partners. And Andrew Scott, who has been around in the industry for quite a number of years, really earns his time to shine, which is why we see him in a major film like Ripley now. Loosely based on the novel Strangers by Taishi Yamada, it was made into a much more ghostly film adaptation, The Discognates, released in 1988. This film is definitely much more poignant as it focuses more on memory and distinct detail of character, which I very much appreciate. The whole ensemble is so preciously wonderful and real. Jamie Bell and Claire Foy are so fantastic in the roles of the parents, really using their own experience as parents themselves in the drama. And that's what makes each scene of them together, like the Christmas scene, so genuine and beautiful. The detail of how they sounded, what they smelt like, the music choices, etc. How they look at each other, what is revived and what is missed. Jamie Bell, always the amazing and committed actor, even wore brown eye contacts to resemble more of Andrew Scott's eyes. Claire Foy, always amazing as well, giving such pathos and sensitivity as Andrew's understanding yet still conservatively liberal and loving mother. Paul Meskel as Harry is a great addition, even though I'm not gonna lie, there were scenes where a creep factor is settling in, like the first scene, obviously, which I think adds to the haunting factor of it, because we are placed in Adam's shoes, wondering if this new relationship is such a good idea. But they both talk about how wonderful it was working with each other, and it certainly shows on screen. Their chemistry definitely comes alive. With no major, major spoilers to be given here, there will be quite a bit, but the best scene has to be the diner scene where there is so much closure that even for the viewer going through something devastating and holding burdens and pains in their soul, this will heal in some way, at, at least a tiny, tiny bit in the best way possible. The best shot in the whole film, honestly, is that final shot, that final zoom out shot in Adam's bedroom which leaves us, the viewers, in such a dreamlike state, which you feel all throughout the film even. The long shot 
out with a beautiful and underrated song, The Power of Love by Frankie Goes to Hollywood playing is what cinema is all about. I challenge anyone to watch All of Us Strangers and not to be affected by it. Therefore, I give All of Us Strangers an A minus. The film was sadly snubbed at the Oscars, but it did rightfully receive six British Academy Award nominations, including Best Director and Best Adapted Screenplay for Andrew Haig, Best Supporting Actress for Foy, Best Supporting Actor for Paul Meskel, and Best British Film. Still snubbing Andrew Scott, even though he received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor, which is still not enough. But if you have not seen All of Us Strangers, it is, without a doubt, worth seeing, folks, as it represents the beautiful healing tool that living with the past heals rather than living in it. Live with the past, don't live in it. But if you have seen all of the strangers, what do you think of it? Be sure to comment and like like crazy, subscribe and stay tuned for more to come as we get back on board with the TCM Classic Film Festival Marathon shortly. Thank you all so much for watching again. Happy, happy, happy Pride Month and let the power of love revitalize your soul. Mm -hmm.